Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Exodus chapters 20 and 21, Proverbs chapter 17 and Mark chapter 7. If you're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Exodus chapter 20 verse 20. Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, that the fear of him may be before you, that you may not sin. Exodus chapter 21 verse 1 These are the laws you are to set before them. Proverbs chapter 17 verses 24, 27 and 28 A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongues. Mark chapter 7 verse 20 through 23 And then he said, It is what comes from inside that defiles you. For from within, out of a person's heart come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these wild things come from within. They are what defile you. God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father, gave us the instructions and set standards for a pure way of life. The reverence to God should consume our hearts and our mind should be set on Him alone so that we can have victory over every fleshly motive. The power comes as we spend time at God's feet, cleansed with the precious blood of Jesus, allowing God the Holy Spirit to be our teacher. He will give us wisdom, understanding and knowledge to discern things so that we can live a pure life both now and for eternity. Thanks be to God for the gift of salvation. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.